Hello out there in our land and welcome to Champs. My name is Giselle Taco and Mr. Lemoyne and I will serve as your host for today's program. Champs stands for the Shaman High Artist, Musicians and Performers Showcase. It's a show that shines the spotlight on some of the talent here at Shaman High. And we have a talented gentleman with us today, so let's meet our guest. He's a talented musician in the jazz and brass band here at Shaman High School. Say hello to Joe Kirchham. Hello, Joe Kirchham. How are hello. you? Pretty good. How about y'all? Good. Thanks good. for being with us today. No problem. So how long have you been performing? Um, it's been about eight years since I started now. I started back when I was in fifth grade. I started playing clarinet and every year pretty much I've started learning a new instrument. So, Is there any reason you wanted to learn how to play an instrument? Actually, no. I, that's the last thing I had pictured myself doing was being in band. I, was, I played sports. I wasn't very good. But I played sports, and when I went to the Ridgewood Prep after uh, Katrina, uh, my cousin, I had to take band, and my cousin had a clarinet in the second story of his house. So I was kind of forced to take up clarinet, and instantly I was pretty good at it. So nice. just kind of. Well, what, um, what do you enjoy about, because the saxophone is your instrument of choice these days, yes? Yeah. So what do you like about the saxophone? Um, I like the sound, and... I'd have to say just the all-around feel of it. It has the jazz feel along with I was always a rock kid, so I can play whatever I want. It's a well-rounded instrument. Is there specific music you listen to that you enjoy practicing for your instrument of choice? Um, not necessarily, no. I'm all over the place. You'll see me, if I'm ever practicing in my room, it's to videos on YouTube, and I'll just browse YouTube and figure them out. And um, how many hours a week do you practice uh, with the band, not just you know, in school, but outside of class time as well? Hard to say. It depends on the week, really, because there's a lot. And what has on. been the highlight of your Shaman High musical career so far? Um, probably back when I was in middle school, when I first started out with the jazz band, playing with the Chubby Checker concert and Gene Knight, and that, that was a really fun gig. You do a lot of gigs outside of school. Can you tell us more about that? Um, yeah, I'm in the Tipitina's intern program right now, where it's basically anybody can go to it if you're accepted in. And we play all over the city, and it's a big promotion thing, and it helps with scholarships and stuff like that. Just recently, we played um, for Hugh Laurie. We opened for Hugh Laurie over at the Fest Festival in Tipitina's. So. And you're playing second lines, and you're playing for weddings, and you're playing all over the city, huh? Yeah, i uh, got a couple of my own groups doing that now, too, so. Nice. So what do you see for yourself, big picture? What are you hoping to do after you graduate from Shaman High? I want to go to Berkeley College of Music and study music business, actually. Um, I, that's kind of like everybody is like, why music business? Why music business? You realize that's going to take a lot of time, and it's going to be hard to keep playing. And... I understand that, but the music business for some reason has always just stuck to me. And uh, the business aspect, I feel like I would be good at it because I'm a good negotiator. And <laughs> you have a strong head on your shoulders. Do you often feel pressure from out other people or friends who let you down? And what do you say to tell them that you're going to do well and go on in life? Um. <laughs> when it comes to that, I'm, it's, it's tough to say because sometimes I can tell them just straight up, I got this, I can do it, and then there's sometimes where I'm like, you're probably right, I should probably take a step back from this and try to figure it out a little bit different and better. I see you have a lot of ninth graders in the band coming in, which is a good sign for the band's growth, and you got some real talent coming up. What advice would you give to the incoming freshmen and people who are interested in band? What advice would you give to them as they continue on? Practice, 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 and practice. That's, that's all you can do. Learn your major scales. Um, start to expand what you listen to. Don't stick to the normal stuff. Expand practice and get exposed. Go out and listen to some music. You need it because that's just as important as practicing and learning the music. You need to listen. Nice. Well, speaking of listening, this would be a good time for us to listen to the melodic tunes of Mr. Joe Kirshen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that'll do it for this edition of Champs. We'd like to thank our guest musician, Joe Kirchham, for joining us. And if you know anybody out there in our land that would make a good guest on Champs, we'd love to know about him. On behalf of Mr. Lemoyne and all of us here at Chalmette High School and Penn TV, we're reminding you, love what you do and do what you love. And we'll see you next time on Champs. Champs.